Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with SPSS, uh, is going to concentrate on some more descriptive approaches, but more importantly we're going to concentrate on uh, generation, the generation of custom tables. Okay? So at times from a descriptive perspective when you want to describe your variables, yeah, well sometimes you'll have many variables uh, and you'll want to describe, let's say variables that have particular categories associated with them, variables that are measured on a nominal or an ordinal level, uh, you might want to under, try to understand how many observations are falling within categories and a nice way to actually present that is through a table or through a custom table that we're going to, uh, the custom table function is what we're going to rely upon within SPSS and then at times you might want to look at the relationship between two variables uh, where we sort of, I suppose the word that is used, we cross tabulate across variables, we cross tabulate across two variables as example uh, and then we can talk about how many, how many particular observations uh, fall within within particular categories uh, for example one category of one variable and another category for example how many males are aged 20 to 40 years of age if that makes sense but let me just try to try to show you how this works it's, it's straightforward enough uh, we go to analyze okay so I'm in SPSS here maybe I'll just refresh this maybe just give you a quick uh, overview of the data file that I'm using it's one that I've used now for uh, over for, for a couple of videos. Uh, it's a data file that represents the characteristics of approximately 1,800 employees within an organization and the information that we've captured about the employees are their employee number, their gender, their age, their length of service, highest level of education, how much salary they're on, their salary band, how many hours they work per week, how much sick leave they've taken and so on and so forth. Uh, some of these variables are measured at a scale, uh, at the scale level for example salary is a scale variable, others are measured at the nominal and ordinal level. Uh, where they're measured at nominal and ordinal level and where they have particular categories uh, we provided the values uh, and what the labels are associated with them categories. For example here's the gender variable here. Zero represents male and one represents female uh, and here's the length of service. Let's say the highest level of education variable. Three represents junior certificate all the way through to ten represents PhD. So once again where there is where the variable is measured on a nominal and an or, or, or an ordinal level uh, and there's values and there's there's categories we provided the values associated with the labels for those categories and uh, so that's the they're the variables there's 14 variables uh, and the data associated with the variables is in the data view window here but for this video I want to concentrate on generating some tables so let's say I just want to generate a table that expresses uh, how many males there is and how many females there are within this organization yeah okay so what I'll do is I'll just go to analyze uh, I'm going to go to uh, let's say we're going to go to where my where we got it here tables okay and uh, I'm going to choose custom tables okay so what I'm doing is I'm going to analyze uh, I'm choosing tables and then custom tables uh, on the older version of SPSS actually when you go to analyze between descriptive between the descriptive statistics and compare means is tables, but it's actually called custom tables. Yeah, uh, so this later version of SPSS is just called tables now. But what I'm going to choose from the tables menu here now is custom tables. So I'm just going to choose custom tables. Okay, and it says for optimal use of this dialog, value labels should be defined for all categorical variables. And we've done that, we've defined all the category, uh, all the value labels for our nominal and ordinal variables. Uh, so I'm not going to define the variable properties, I've already done this. So I'm just going to hit OK here. And what we get is we get this particular window pops up that allows us to construct our tables. Uh, and it's a drag and drop procedure. Okay, so you just take a variable and you drag it over here and you drop it either in rows or in columns. Okay. Uh, the important thing is if we choose a variable, let's say let's make sure that the variables that we choose are measured are, are they're categorical yeah that's important yeah so either nominal or ordinal so if we choose gender we know that gender has two levels of measurements males and females so if i put gender in on rows what's going to do is the males are going to contain a be represented as a row in the table and the females are going to be represented as a row whereas if i put it in as columns we'll have males represented as columns and females represented as columns so let's just do the first thing let's just take the gender variable just clicking on it and let's place it in here into this rows box okay and you can actually see what we get is we get something like this this is what the table is going to look like the statistic that we're getting out here is the count okay so in other words this table by default is just going to tell us how many males and how many females there are within this organization so let's just hit okay on that so we're just going to hit okay 
And there's the table there. Okay, let me maybe go to full screen on this. And this is the table that we have, yeah? So if I want to specifically uh, mention within my methodology section uh, how many males and how many females are took part in this particular study, uh, well, I, it would be nice. I'd probably generate that particular table uh, within uh, the custom tables function, uh, which will tell me now that I know that there's 1,121 male employees and there's 754 female employees. Uh, we might not be looking for the actual counts, we might be looking for them particular counts as percentages, yeah? So once again I'll go to Analyze, Tables, I'm going to choose Custom Tables, uh, I'm going to hit OK, and this time instead of count, okay, I don't want count, okay, so maybe if I look at this particular, this particular thing here, is I don't want count, uh, I'm going to go to Summary Statistics, you can see that over here is a list of the statistics that we could generate and over here is the ones that are currently being displayed